हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इमेजिन डिजाइनिंग ए लेटेस्ट चिप विथ हाफ ऑफ द टाइम दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डिजाइनिंग ए नॉर्मल चिप दैट इज पॉसिबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज यूज इन चिप डिजाइनिंग फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ चिप फ्रॉम स्मार्टफोन टू द सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार आई एम शिवाशीष चक्रवर्ती आई एम एन एक्सपीरियंस सेमी कंडक्टर प्रोफेशनल आई एम ओनर ऑफ एजाइल सेमी कंडक्टर आई राइट सेमी कंडक्टर ब्लॉग्स एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड I am also the author of Semiconductor for All book. Real estate design has become a uh, manual till now, and uh, the engineers, the real estate design engineers, they uh, circuit preparation they use, and also uh, they simulate the design, they optimize, and uh, it takes months or even years to design a complete chip. now that is not affordable in today's uh, time because of uh, there are too much of competitiveness among different chip designing companies and uh, so today uh, every chip is going to be designed with the help of artificial intelligence how it is first uh, the you know how the chip works that is being uh, ml trained with the help of artificial intelligence the machine learning with the help of machine learning uh, you can train that how chips works what are the uh, chip design patterns and also how to optimize the chip design circuit so all these three things are being trained with the help of artificial intelligence now when we actually uh, design the chip at that point of time these uh, ml trained uh, artificial intelligence programs they help in designing they even self design the uh, chip uh, themselves how nobody is going to tell you about that i will discuss about this in this video so what happens that if you have a system on chip and if you have individual blocks in the system on chip and individual blocks are uh, different blocks something like one is for the uh, the um the interaction of the pcb layer another is basically the processor another is basically the memory so what happens is that each of them has their own functionalities so each of the block within an soc each of the asic within an soc are being trained separately based on the three things that i have discussed uh, just now so what happens is that when you design a another chip 2.0 you will have you will have uh, similar uh, functionality like you will have a logic design you will have a processor you will have a memory in chip chip 2.0 so if chip 1.0 has been trained completely and uh, is being uh, fabricated then while designing the chip 2.0 you can use this ml trained um, uh, you know uh, staff in chip 2.0 to design it and also not necessarily chip 1.0 to 2.0 even for any generic chip they have some thing of commonality in the you know designing the interface bus protocols and uh, then um, the the processors and then the memories so there are some uh, common patterns in these blocks among all different kind of chips so if one of them is being uh, ml trained then the other chips can be designed with the help of this machine learning trained object and uh, also most importantly what happens is the challenge is going to be you know nowadays uh, the chip verification engineers they uh, design the chip in this way chip designers and chip verification engineers they start from the soc and then individual uh, blocks within the soc you know uh, there are uh, distributed team they work in the individual blocks now with the help of artificial intelligence when you train to one complete chip like this when we do the chip 2.0 well uh, the human is also involved along with artificial intelligence then this top down bot approach may not work properly so uh, it is going to be challenging that is it going to be a top down approach that means starting from soc to the asic and even the branch level or it is going to be the bottom up that means starting with the individual module or block level SOC, uh, asic and then going up to the uh, soc level that is going to be a challenge with the, with uh, artificial intelligence now i talk about the what is the real world of artificial intelligence in chip designing so you have heard of the name like intel you have heard of the name like tsmc and then broadcom and then nvidia all of them are nowadays designing artificial intelligence based uh, chips so if you talk about intel then they are uh, more uh, disk, you know 
more talking about different kind of technology like 18A, 18AP, which is a power optimized version of 18A. And then they have a, a GAA gate all around. And then they have FinFET. So this kind of chips are being designed with artificial intelligence. And when you talk about TSMC, TSMC doing four nanometer chip, three nanometer chip, two nanometer, even they are planning for one nanometer. All of them is only possible if they use artificial intelligence because every uh, six months or every one year, the technology is basically going to be uh, challenged so that it shrinks and shrinks and more number of transistors are being accommodated in a small number of, uh, in a small size or die area. And uh, you know, what happens is that uh, this AI and ML are further evolving. So we cannot say that the technology or uh, the algorithm that is being used for today's chip design will not hold, may not hold true in tomorrow's design. So it is evolving as well. So it is a very challenging subject about chip designing with the help of AI ML. Now, till now I have given some idea about chip designing, what is the genetic chip designing and how AI ML is being used in designing chips. So what is your thoughts about that? So please write down your thoughts in the comment section of this video and uh, subscribe this channel if you like this video and if you want to uh, get more such videos in your uh, um, playlist or in your um, area. And uh, last but not the least, before discussing about this, I have uh, authored a book called Semiconductor for All. So if you are particularly interested about semiconductor, if you are particularly interested, interested about uh, artificial intelligence, then uh, you can uh, buy this book. I will provide the book link in the description section of the video. Till now, let's get a recap on uh, today's video. I talked about what is chip design. I talked about how chip is designed, you know, genetic chip which takes months and years, how AIML can help and make the chip designing time half of the normal chip design time. And also the real world uh, chips are being designed with the help of AIML. Top chip designing companies are designing their chips with the, with the help of AIML. And also this AIML technology for designing chips are also evolving as well. So get ready for the next video to come. Till then, Shubhashish Chakraborty signing off.